Hey guys, um, so I haven't done a video in a while, mainly due to the fact oh, that I keep dropping the camera. No, it's not because of that. <sighs> Nervous laughter. Nervous laughter. Ha ha ha. Yeah, so, um, I don't know. I haven't done one in a while. Just mainly because my life is so internally boring that all well, the days melt into one. So, uh,. What I look forward to on the gaming front, uh, Battlefield 3 next week, and it is literally next week, it's like the 18th and it's like comes out the 26th or 29th, I don't know, uh, so I'll have that, um, COD Mod 3 the week after that, and if I have any pennies after I bought myself a new controller, because uh, once again I'm having stick problems. Uh, Halo 3 killed my first pad uh, ODST <laughs> killed my second pad Reach killed my third pad and I'm about ready for my fourth pad because I mean this pad is dying the LB button for the abilities is knackered um, the thumbsticks of, of the of the, I call them the FPS break, where you use your sticks that much that you will always walk forward and up to the left, so, because the stick will be up and left, so you'll always want to move slowly, like I'm doing now, <laughs> to the left and forward, and, uh, I don't play mine inverted, because I'm not Satan, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, like I also start looking up and to the left as well instead of down and to the left. What are you down to the right? I don't know. That's, I don't never played invert. I don't know. It could be inverted and left is right and donkeys sleep with monkeys and I don't know. But um, there was a very funny thing about uh, that Freddie Wong did um, that had inverted in it so it was pretty cool uh but still i don't get inverted why why if it's a plane or a car not a car <laughs> yeah if it's a car if it's a plane or um jet or star fox yeah i'll play invert because that's how you drive a plane fly a plane you don't drive planes laws Durr. but in first person shooters you don't look down to look up <laughs> You look up to look up, so you push the stick up to look up, and you press stick down to look down. Now, I can understand that, you know, it's like pitch, so you're pushing forward to look down, but to me, if I'm going to look up, I'm going to look up, not look down. And there's a lot of shaking camera today, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm waiting on my new router, uh, left Sheffield's depot at... 920 according to the packaging thing uh, that they're tracking it with so it's coming today so uh, this will be up when I have eventually figured out how to put the router in with my internet connection because as far as I know it should be switch out switch out change the web key to the new web key done but knowing me I'll be ringing up tech support going uh yeah I can't do it um, so, unless this, I don't know, there might be some setup thing I have to do, like, um, when I first set up my router, first of all, I had to establish a connection with the laptop, although I'd probably just do it with the PC, because it'd be easier, it's all hardwired anyway, so it's nothing to faff about. Do that with the hardwired, then calibrate the wireless. <sighs> Then, I don't know, fight Darth Vader and um, punch Hitler in the balls. I don't know. But it's just, I don't know. It, it, the, what I think it's going to be, I know it isn't, and I think it's going to be simple. I think it's going to be switch out, switch out, plug it in, let it do its thing. Hey, look, you've connected to the internet. Well done. But it's not going to be like that. Because if it was that simple technology-wise, people would not be bitching about getting new routers all the time. So, 
I'm going to follow the instructions in the manual, because they usually sound like a disc in a manual, so I'm going to read the manual, I'm going to do the disc thing, I'm not going to dick about screaming at the telly head button walls, because um, common sense tells you, you read the manual, it will make it work, and then when it doesn't work, because <laughs> the manual is for like first time setups, and not changing routers, um, I'll ring up Sportline, and they'll sort me out, which will be probably a very simple thing that I'll not see. And it will be ridiculously easy. It will literally be something like, oh yeah, you just go in the admin thing and you accept the internet connection and it does it all for you. And then I will be punching something. Um, so yeah, that's my rant about the internet. And <laughs> I, I just love the fact I've gone off on a tangent already. It's been a while, you see. I don't have... Um, much in the way to talk about things so if I don't talk for a while to you guys and then I do talk for a while I have a lot to talk about may not all make sense may not all be relevant to you guys um, but hey this is my life my life is never relevant to pretty much anyone oh that's a point what is the weather like today I'm sorry but I check on my phone I can tell you it's raining outside right now, um, and the temperature is, <laughs> come on, load up, there we go. it is 11 degrees here in old sunny Chesterfield, high of 11, low of 6, and this is why I hate America, Austin, Texas, high of 23, Low of 10. High of 23. It's warmer there than it is going to be all day here. That's why I'm pissed off about it. It's like, we're going to get snow in the next month or so. And if anyone ever remembers watching my very, 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 very first blog, which was in three foot of snow, um, you know that I like snow, but I don't like the cold. I am not very tolerant of cold. Like now I'm I'm kind of cold, but I'm suffering because I'm waiting for the guy to come and deliver. And there's my door. There's the door that I would close to keep it nice and cool, or nice and warm. Sorry, it's nice and cool in summer because I have it open. Nice and warm in winter because I have it shut and it's kind of like an insulation barrier. But because I'm waiting for the deliveries and they never knock loudly. So I'm having to do this uh, the old fashioned way, which keep the door open, freeze my balls off. So, <clears throat> uh, I say, I'm going to try and keep this under 10 minutes because I don't know if people watch all these videos to the end, but um, I don't, I don't know. I try and keep on a tangent and try and keep things going smoothly um i will be doing my impressions on battlefield card um i know they don't have theater modes i don't have a capturing device so it will literally be just me talking about it like this um so unless of course one of you kind people wants to donate me a capturing device you know a million quid uh, and a hot Swedish supermodel or Megan Fox I don't know but um, yeah I mean either of those things would be nice but um, yeah so I'm currently now just basically sitting down talking like this for it um, when was the last game I played properly oh Crisis on Xbox Live Arcade it's a faithful port from the PC, and I know a lot of PC users are going to be moaning that, oh god, it doesn't look as good as it does on the PC when, is it? when, when it's on the 360, but I've played the entire game start to finish with no lag, no problems, because it runs properly, and it probably runs about medium to high graphic detail from the PC. 
And it looks really good, really good. I mean, you can push through branches and stuff, and the branches and everything will slowly move to one side as you walk through. Uh, lighting looked good. Uh, I mean, like the character in detail and that, yeah, it's a bit old because it's. What, what do you want from a game that's 2008? But it's good. I enjoyed it. Uh, kind of doesn't match up with Crisis 2, but then again, it will. Because I, I can't remember the story properly. I think they explained it in Crisis 2, but I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, it was a good game. And it's on my arcade, so it's, it's always going to be on my Xbox. I think that's the best way for me to play games. Um, if I want a game that I'll keep, I'll play it and probably buy it on arcade. So that way it'll stay there forever and ever and ever. Um, but. I oh, know, I think I hear a delivery van, which may be my router. Yes, this looks honestly like some kind of van. So uh, I'll get off, because hopefully this will be my new router, and I'll spend three hours kicking myself in the head trying to figure out how to put it in. See you later, guys.